So when I entered high school, YouTube started to become more and more part of my life. As many other freshmen in high school, I was really awkward and really quiet, didn't have a lot of friends, I didn't really talk really at all. So naturally I went home and healthily went and talked to my camera instead of actual people, and then uploaded it on the internet. After posting my videos for about six months just for fun, I realized I could generate more views if I started to promote it on other social media platforms. So in ninth grade I got a Twitter, you know, Facebook, Tumblr, and just to promote all my videos, try to get views. Because at this point in time I was actually earning money from YouTube. YouTube has a partnership system where if they place ads on your videos and you can generate money. So I started to make a little spare income, which is kind of hard to do when you're 14. So I started to get more and more views, started to get a couple hundred hits on each video I made, just like stupid me talking to a camera for eight minutes, you know, similar to what I'm doing right now. Which led me to a site called Blog TV. Blog TV was a live broadcasting site where you would just sit in front of a webcam and there's a little chat room and the people in the chat could watch you talk live through your webcam. And I became obsessed. Blog TV was literally my life for freshman and sophomore years of high school. Every night from 7 to 9 I would have a web show of which people would watch me and I'd talk to them and it was just a lot of fun. Maybe partially because I was so dedicated or partially because I was maybe relatable to um, the younger audience on blog TV, I quickly became the most popular person on blog TV, which actually said something at the time because it had two million active members. I became the top teenage personality and I quickly became 14th most popular user of all time of which there were around 4 million users of all time. Because of this, Blog TV offered me a partnership, of which I would earn money from my web shows, and also I would represent them at different internet conferences across the United States. This enabled me to get a lot of cool perks, such as clothing companies would send me free merchandise, I'd get to review music ahead of time, I would get offered to go to concerts for free, um, even I was once offered a trip to California um, to represent Blog TV at a, a big convention called VidCon, but I wasn't able to go because tickets were sold out. But I had a great time on Blog TV, and the further that I got immersed in digital culture online and social media, the more I realized that I wanted to do it professionally. So when I was around 15, 14, in that age range, I started to reach out to companies on the internet to see if they needed anyone to help promote their products. From there, a couple small companies would um, pitch an idea, say, hey, I really need to promote my new clothing line, and then I would structure a social media campaign for them and just to try to promote their product. I would earn a little bit of money here and there, I would get free clothes, it was, it was a really good time, I really enjoyed it. So when my junior year came and it was time for me to start looking at colleges and deciding what my major was going to be, I realized that marketing is something that I was seriously interested in. However, I'm not really the math kind of guy, I don't crunch numbers well, like I don't have the brain for it, I'm not really book smart. <laughs> I can I can learn, but uh, this is why I decided to seek a specialization in digital humanities because then I figured I would be able to get into the more creative side of marketing or the digital media side of marketing, which is the career path that I want to pursue. And that has led me here at Michigan State University. And if you would like to see any more parts of my digital use story, just click here to visit the title page.